willnisley.com willnisley hey guys this is w creator back with another video today i'm going to show you how to make an ethernet cable Ethernet is a type of cable used to transfer data across the network. Ethernet was invented by Robert Metcalf on May 22, 1973. It took several years for Ethernet to go into use. Wired Internet is faster and more secure than wireless Internet. There are versions of Ethernet that are third times faster than the 802.11n version of Wi-Fi is at home. Regular Cat5 cable isn't being sold these days very much. If you do use Cat5, you're probably use, going to use Cat, Cat5e. The 25 foot Cat5e cable costs about $8 and provides a speed of up to 1 gigabyte per second. For only $1 more, you can buy a 25 foot Cat6 cable that supports up to 10 gigabytes per second. By comparison, my 802.11n network uh, supports only 0.15 gigabytes per second. There are two main differences between Cat5 and Cat6 cables. The first is insulation. Cat6 cables have a plastic core to help reduce crosstalk. Crosstalk is interference caused when the twisted pairs are touching. The second difference between Cat5 and Cat6 is that Cat6 pairs are more tightly wound. Alright guys, so now you learned about Ethernet and what it is. Now it's time to make one. So for demonstration purposes, um, I already have one end of the Ethernet made, so I can show you the final step on how to you know, actually make sure your Ethernet works. <laughs> um, so this is the end we'll be using, you can see it's not tampered with yet, um, so now, we're gonna, now I'm going to show you how to do that. So first you're going to take your cable stripper here. Put it down about an inch. I can get it on there. Right? Yeah, so you can put it down about, mm, I'd say right there. And then you're gonna gently just take it around once. And then you're done with this. And you take the jacket off. Now you wanna make sure you take off this little thread here. So just take the wire cutter again, snip it off there, throw it in the trash. And, uh, bend back all these wires uh, in the process make sure none of these are, have been cut so that thing has got to go so now with that plastic piece out of the way we can start arranging our wires our wires in order so before we do that we just untwist these Uh, your color order is as follows. Anyway, white orange, orange, white green, and then uh, blue, white blue, or blue, white blue. Green, white, brown, and brown. So the Ethernet cables are one solid color, one uh, solid, one one straight color, one solid color in that order. So we're making a straight through cable, which means both ends are the same. So once the colors are in order, take your thumb. your uh, other thumb and just straighten them out best you can and bend them forward backward it doesn't matter it's not going to affect the wire it's not going to make it it's not going to break the wire or anything so you're fine now what you want to avoid here is what i'm running into uh, tangled wires in the top where you can see they're going to overlap there you don't want to you want to make them as straight as possible Another thing that helps I forgot to mention is taking the jacket you stripped 
and going over the wires just to make sure they're straight. So once they are as straight as you can get them and in the right order next to each other, um, make sure they're kind of, make sure they're really close because you want to be able to feed them into the RJ45 so you'll take one of these connectors and make sure the tab is underneath facing you and then once the tab is facing you all right so once your wires are in like that all poking through, you're gonna take out your crimper. You're gonna feed it into the RJ45 slot right here, the bigger slot. Turn it all the way. All right, that looks pretty good. Pretty snug in there. Then you crimp. So that means you press down I'm gonna do it with the trash can. You press down till you hear a click. Once you're done crimping your cable, uh, make sure you have a little bit of the casing. As you can see, it's crimped on the casing. So make sure you have that in there. Then you are gonna take your, then you take your ethernet tester. So you plug one end here. It does not matter what end of the cord goes in what slot. And then the other end goes in here. Can you hear that click? The dots are supposed to be straight. It's supposed to go like that. No, it's supposed to be like that, but I've used these cords on computers and they work, so it shouldn't matter too much. As long as it passes, it says there's nothing wrong, then you're good. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Have and uh, have a good day. Bye.